and welcome back. This is Balscuba with more Let's Play Diablo 3. I'm joined as always by my barbarian and my Templar. He doesn't have a name as of yet. Just just Templar. Uh, when we last left off, I was going to get some new stuff in town. I did. I ended up giving the Templar the sword. He can use anything that is one-handed, not just... Uh, not just the pole arm that he was using before. So this is the sword that he is on now. It's pretty good, but not as good as my dual wielding scythes, which I did pick up on screen. Uh, the magic boots, I believe, are new. This, I believe, is the same. The belt is new, I believe. The the gloves are definitely new. Uh, the armor is the same. Bracers might be new. I don't think they are. Helmet is definitely new. The equipment is probably the best stuff in this game. That's how you get your build done, is, is the equipment that you find. When we last left off, we need to talk to Deckard Kane about the stranger that we had found. Let's see what Deckard has to say about all of this. This is what fell from the sky. No man could survive such a thing. Who are you? What are you? A warrior, I think. I came bearing grave news. But I cannot remember your message might be all that can save us from impending doom and we got an achievement the last of the Herodrum. I don't know what I did to get that um what oh nah <laughs> sorry you didn't see that at all what I didn't get a, an achievement let's talk to her again me everything you remember stranger Every detail. Falling. Fire. A sword of great power. It was part of me. But it shattered into three pieces as I fell. It is vital that we find those pieces. I believe the sword made whole will restore your memory. The goatmen are rampaging through the fields. Could the sword have anything to do with that? Of course, of course. Just as the dead rose around the stranger, the sword pieces drove the goatmen to madness. I will hunt the goatmen. The sword will be in their midst. So now it is time for us to find a sword. We need to go to the fields of misery in order to get that done. Oh, the stranger has something to say. We don't know his name yet, though. You have no other memories? Only that there were surges of light and a kind of pain. Ah, that's How do you fare now? The emptiness gnaws at me. It is a constant frustration. Stay strong. The sword cannot be far. No, surely not. Now, you have new stuff to say, Deckard? The Herodrim were powerful mages gathered together by the Archangel Tyriel to defeat the three prime evils, Diablo, Mephisto, and Baal. They devoted themselves fully to the destruction of the demon lords and left behind valuable tomes and teachings. How did you become the last of the Herodrim? My ancestor was the leader of the Herodrim, Jared Kane. When the Herodrim died out, their tomes stayed in my family. I was thrilled by tales of the Herodrim as a little boy, but it wasn't until I returned to them as an adult that I realized they contained deeper truths. Interesting. Wait, now he has more? He does have more. Tell me about Tyriel. Tyriel is the angel of justice. He has been helping mankind for generations, though he is forbidden to do so in any direct manner. Long ago, the high heavens and the burning hells made a pact as a result of the Sin War that they would not interfere in our world. The demons have broken this pact. Why does Tyriel do nothing? The Angiris Council, the archangels that lead heaven, almost destroyed our world once to keep the demons from spreading their corruption upon it. If Tyriel were to act directly, it would alert the Council to the demon's activities here and imperil us all. So there is a lot of backstory to the Diablo lore. Basically what he was saying is that there is that the angels and demons are not supposed to get involved in our human affairs, but the demons clearly are. So why aren't the angels helping out? 
And I, I guess that's a legitimate question. Let's head to the Cemetery of the Forsaken. Which I don't remember opening up. Oh, yes. Yes, I remember here. Is anybody here? Uh, probably not. We've already cleared this area. So let's just head over here. Absolutely destroy them. And go through the gates. Hold on for one second, though. Just remembered I had to turn down the battle sound. It was a little wild last time. So hopefully I can talk if over a sword it. Here, we will find it. Yes, we will find the sword. And we are in a new area, so I will fully explore this place. Dead villager, Mooney. That is all you are good for. Ooh, a chest. Give me something a good. For glory. Oh, we got the trees. They came out of the trees, man. They came out of the trees. I have heard the most ridiculous tales about travelers being ambushed by vicious trees. <laughs> it, it is too much. Despite their names, the wood wraiths are not plants, but fully mobile beasts who have taken on the guise of foliage to ensnare their prey. Only a simpleton could be fooled by such a trick. Slaying. Hey, you're not allowed to talk while bestiary is talking. You hear that, Templar? Moon Clan, and here are the goat men that we have heard so much about. The Moon Clan, the clans do come back in this one. I do like them. You'll see a lot of comebacks for some uh, some creatures, especially from Diablo 2. And they look a lot better this time. A lot more menacing, if you ask me. But what do I know? Wood wraiths. They do take a little bit. Uh, you saw last time I was getting poisoned by them. Uh, they can spawn um, little bulbs, I guess that do poison, so you want to look out for those if you're not paying attention and you could get a lot of damage done to you. Uh, is this about the Leapers or about the clan? Some time ago, I revealed that the Khazra, or <laughs> goat men, were originally humans until the Vigerai corrupted them. For many years, these creatures were simple and lethargic. These days have ended. Khazra attacks are widely reported, and the number of fatalities is higher than anything in my records. Oh, that does not sound good. So these goatmen, the Kazara, are on the move, attacking a whole lot. Looks like this goes on for a way, so I'm going to start trying to go back up. Oh, waypoint! The Fields of Misery. Sounds like a lovely place. Destroy all the rocks. Ugh, fine, I'll go take on the plague carriers. Oh, one shot in. Oh, God, I love it. I love it. Thank you, Scythe. Once again, not sure how Scythe works. <laughs> I don't know if anybody tried to explain that to me, but I'm pretty sure it just doesn't. Holy crap! Damn! Who the hell are you? Get over here. Stun. Ogdeg, the Key Warden, evasive Khazra Brute. That does not sound good. Oh, I'm like saying in his... Yeah. I'm not supposed to stand there. Get over here! So I can kill you. Whoa! I healed. I healed. That was close. Did not expect that. What the hell was that? Though I have searched every corner of the great library of Chaldeum, I can find no references to the true fate of the blood clan Khazra. Khazra. Some crumbling papers hint that they made a pact to serve the mythical lesser evils. But surely such a thing cannot be considered proper scholarship. Uh, per yes. Lesser evils. There we'll go over those in a bit. Foe. Hey, we got some specials here. No, you're not allowed to do that. Only I can call people over. What a monstrous creature. Uh, d you said that after I killed him. Apparently it was monstrous in defeat. Alright, take on the wood wraith. There we go. Down he goes. There's one of the bulbs. Don't step on it. Because then I'll do that. <laughs> I don't think it causes poison. Uh, if it does, it'll actually show and it'll let you know how much is left. It's very nice. Once again, a lot of that is ex inspired from uh, World of Warcraft, of course. Their most successful franchise. Let's be honest. You can say whatever you want about StarCraft 2 and, and Diablo. World of Warcraft is clearly their moneymaker. 
and they w they might stretch that out forever. You ju that might never end. Uh, Plague Nest got to deal with that. Ooh, a Wonga doll. That's good for making essence. Uh, that's just primarily for uh, well, it's exclusive to witch doctors from what I remember. All right, now let's just stay on this side because you saw the path did lead over there. Oh. Decaying Crypt Level 1! Will I be able to make it through one of these dungeons with multiple levels without lagging out? That is the big question! Minor Health Potion. I will take that. Anything else in here? Just stuff for me to destroy. Ooh, a Lesser Healing Potion! That's the first one that I think we have found. Lesser, yes, first one. Uh, heals a little bit more than Minor, just like you would think. At least I think that because I've played the previous games and that's how it worked in the previous ones. Just just my thoughts. Okay, taking on the Decayers. God. All you're good for is healing, Templar. That is it. Please don't distract my enemies from my blade. Because I do wield knuckles. No good. Damn, how, how much does this go on? Make me think I went the wrong way again. Is that, is that a special I see there? If it was, he died. Uh, oh, he referenced his god there. I forget his name. Like, Volkathos? Something like that. He'll, he'll say that a few times. Ooh, I got a ring. Very nice. Hey, you got a kill. I definitely set him up for you, Templar. But you did kill that guy, and I'll give you credit for that. Nicely done on that two damage because it was the final two. Jeez, this really does go on. Okay, um... Let's go... I don't even know which way to go anymore. I have explored damn near nothing of this so far. I have not found a dead end yet. Except for those small little ones. But those don't count. And we do have specials. Nightmarish. They will scare you off if you're not careful. But I was careful, apparently. Damn it, I didn't want all that. What did I pick up? Okay, no good. 12.7. Is that better than yours? It is. Plus 1 to 2 cold damage. I am unable. Unable? That sounded like he said unable or something like that. Holy crap. Look at that. Ah, oh, God. I, I'm doing fine, otherwise I might consider that. Boom. Nope. This changes. What the hell did I do to get that? Oh, I have like enough blue on. A mighty belt and a mighty weapon at the same time. Okay. Apparently I never did that before. Whatever. I don't, like, I don't know what gives all the achievements. I did not, you know, study them. I just go along as I can. I looked at them once. That's how I know that the whirlwind on a uh, whirlwind on a set number of uh, destroyable objects will give me an achievement. But now that there's like nothing there, I, I don't feel the need to do that anymore. Just for an achievement when there's just gold in there, you know that doesn't seem like fun to me. And we have made around in a big circle, so let's finish clearing out this side. Hopefully, there's not much this way. Actually, let's criminals treated in your land. We went over this. Left to catch them. All has fallen to chaos. Yes, I am the best it man left. To hear that. There we go. Come on, dead end. Stone vault. Ah, nice. I will always take the gold. I do have enough to have well, I have picked up enough, I should say, to have legitimately purchased pretty much everything that we have uh seen in town but once again crafting is really where you want to spend your money so if that leads nowhere god how far away is that i'm gonna have to assume that this is like the halfway point so i'm gonna go over here check that and then we'll go back and hopefully the the way down isn't on this side shouldn't the templar level up by now shouldn't you be here there is an achievement for talking to the to the followers yeah, I know. I, I already mentioned that there are multiple ones, so I don't think it's a spoiler to say that there's still more than one. Um, like, you have to talk to them about every little quest. I'm not going to be doing that. I don't think the followers are that interesting. Um, 
even though they're, they're, they do have a little bit of backstory to them. What are these guys, rancid stumblers? God, they explode when I cleave them. It works out very well for me. Does this actually lead further down? Oh my god, this goes on forever. Okay, um... Wow, I have to assume that this continues on, so now I gotta go back the other way. It's, du it's double guessing myself, double checking. That will be the death of me every single time. Well, like I said, you get achievements for talking to the followers. I don't think they're that interesting. Definitely not as interesting as the actual uh, non-player characters, such as Deckard Cain and, and Leah. And even the stranger, now that we do have the stranger with us. Um, yeah, it's hard for me to say how, how much I like him right now, because we know so little about him. But I like the stranger. We know, but he, he has absolutely no personality right now, so it's hard for me to say that. But just, we'll just have to take my word for it. Masterwork, but doesn't have anything special on it. I don't want it. So it ended right here. Freaking Diablo, man. What are you doing to me? Making me run all the way down there for nothing. For nothing. Alright, let's head back over here. So I've had to use, what, two potions so far? I'm not saying I'm good at the game. I'm kind of saying that the game's pretty easy at this point. Like I said, this is fully after. Uh, the demo. The demo stops before you do meet the stranger. Uh, before you find out that the falling star was a person. Um, when you walk through the door after the uh, after the skeleton king. That's it. That's all you see. Nothing. So, we are definitely past demo here. And the game definitely starts getting a little more difficult. There's finally the way down, so let's finish exploring this place. And once again, this is all optional, but a lot of times you will find some good equipment down here. I already found a ring. I think, I, yeah, I have found the improved belt. It's always worthwhile checking this stuff out. Plus, uh, to be honest, if you don't go through this stuff, you will be underleveled. Um, and you will have a hard time. At least I found that. When I had somebody walking me through, Buttercrust, you know, wanted to, wanted to help me out. and So we kind of rushed through it. I was, I was struggling for some time. But that was pretty much my own fault. I knew that I, I wasn't going to be able to do it. Damn. This place is huge. There's still another level after this? How big is the level after this? Just go away. Blunderer! Give me something good. Gold. That's not that good. My magic finds going away, damn it. I do love how they do give you the uh, little thing right there. To let you know how many, how how much longer it's going to be, all that kind of stuff. How much does it say I have? Two minutes left. Ah, oh, it'll last longer than I thought. So we might be able to make it down there. At least get uh, one group off before before that goes away. A lot of times I feel like the uh, the loot is better than the. Uh, oh, yes, they stack. Ha <laughs> ha! In this game, you don't replace them. You stack them. How awesome is that? So empowered, I didn't read it fast enough, but I want to kill these guys and then we'll take a look at what it's actually doing. I think it just makes me more powerful. After all, it does say empowered. God, just holy crap. Oh, and we're looks like we're gonna get an event here. I have to end her torment. Okay, so resource generation is increasing, cooldowns are reduced, and I've reached level 11. He's still on level 10, or sorry, level 9. Uh, I have gotten a couple new things here. I've gotten Frenzy. Frenzy is pretty good. The only problem is that it starts off pretty slow, and then as you get further and further, it will increase your attack. That's really good if you're fighting one big boss, but if you're fighting a lot of little guys like I am right now, then that's not so great. Rend? Uh, oh, we got a, a rune for it. Increases the range of Rend. I, I prefer Hammer of the Ancients to that. That's just me. Uh, we will get to the point where I will start using some of the other stuff, but as for now, this is, this is pretty good. Okay, so there is an event down here. Resplendent chests. You want to pick up those. Pick up the bells, boots, the wand. We'll check it. We'll check on those when we're done here. Uh, because, of course, like I said, there's there's going to be an event. 
Might as well clear all this place out. And I love how they give you a, a quick, easy path out of here. Uh, just, just out of your way. That way you don't have to walk all the way back. Well, we're getting there, man. I don't think it's that tough, but we're, we're going to get something a little bit tougher than what we're facing right now, that's for sure. So let's clear out all sides, make sure we don't get, you know, the last thing you want to do is start up and find out that you're fight, fighting a guy that's a little tougher than you thought, and then you start to run away, and here comes some enemies because you forgot to clear out the, the area first. So it's always a good idea to clear them out, just in case. Plus you might find some items. But uh, I'm not even going to bother equipping the items. Can drop that. Not that it's any use. There are forces arrayed against us that are stronger than we ever imagined. Some greater purpose lies behind these trials, but I do not yet know it. We will not discover it here. Keep going. I do like that they talk, you yeah. know? That's kind of cool. It, it breaks the monotony a little bit. A little bit. There's still monotony. I mean, I mean, we're we're fully exploring this place. There's gonna be monotony. Willa, tell me what's going on. Please free my family from their cursed existence. I can hear them digging. Be on your guard. Spirits lie. They lie. New event. Kill the family. All right, we got the father here. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Die. We got the mother here, defiled matriarch. Down you go. And we got little Jebby. Little Jebby ain't gonna make it. Little Jebby. And yes, uh, whenever you fight a group like that, uh, of the purple, blue, I think they're going for blue there. Whenever you fight the blue guys, the last one that you kill will drop all the... All the of the loot. Thanks to you, my family can now rest free from the curse they brought upon themselves. Some spirits linger to right past wrongs. I was mistaken about her. You sure? Oh, I guess you were. So we have completed the event. This is not my first time completing that event. I remember that one. Yeah, she doesn't come up and fight you or nothing. Uh, another magic staff. These boots are not as good as what I have. This. Uh, it's plus three maximum fury. That's not that great. Oh, yes. No, no, no. We're moving on to that. And then I'll keep this around just in case I'm, you know, having difficulty. But the magic find is always nice. Always good. Uh, I mean, what the hell am I going to be doing with this? This does not sell. Doesn't. That I want to hold on to just in case. This is crap. Okay, we can move on now. Oh, I picked up another lesser somewhere along the way. 